Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Alhamdulillah, my brothers and sisters, here at the Da'wah Department, we have a very busy three months. Uh, our regular lectures in the masjid continued, which can be listened to uh, online as well as attend on site. We even launched a new one with Ustad Aqil Mahmoud, The Quran Unlocked. We also continue our Saturday lecture series, which have a different theme every single month. We have a very exciting panel session with some shuyukh that visited us all the way from America. We continued publishing uh, our instructional videos, the how-to videos, how to do janazah, how to make a qurbani, and more. We also continued with the Beyond the Minbar podcast series. Several guests would come and discuss uh, pertinent topics that Muslims can benefit from. You can listen to these uh, in audio format as well as watch them on our YouTube channel. Several mashayikh visit us uh, over the past three months, such as Sheikh Hamad al-Tawajiri, Sheikh Abdul Haq al-Turkumani, and Sheikh Muhammad al-Maliki. We continued supporting other uh, mosques and organizations as well as the Islamic societies and universities by providing them with speakers, helping them uh, with their programs to prepare our community for Hajj. We held a Hajj seminar to teach them about the rights of Hajj. We also held a weekend course about Prophet Ibrahim salam. Again, everything that we are doing here is with the blessings and the aid of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and with your continued support. Barakallahu feekum. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Alhamdulillah, the last three months have been so, so busy. We started off with Ramadan. Over 3,000 people here every night worshipping. We had iftars, three to 400 people every night. The last 10 nights, Alhamdulillah, we were grateful to be able to bring back people for itikaf. We did qiyam prayer. We had the suhoor as well as the iftar, uh, so it's a massively busy time for us, alhamdulillah. Uh, during that period, we also hosted an exhibition Islam at the University of Birmingham. Despite the risk of rain, Eid went ahead at both Small Heath Park, where we had around 15,000 people, and at Edgebaston Stadium, where we had 5,000 people. It was a beautiful day for everybody celebrating on the day of Eid. We had our first walima of the year in our community hall, which we hire out for the community, for those who want to have their weddings at the masjid. Assalamu alaikum. I manage the welfare and youth services here at Green Lane Masjid. Um, over the last three months, in addition to our regular activities such as a food bank, our youth club, we've really ramped up our efforts in terms of our welfare and youth activities. We've launched our sister's fitness class. We've had coffee mornings running regularly. We've had sisters swimming. We've had trips to Drayton Manor. We've had trips to Troy Cross Zoo, to Safari Park. We've now launched our boxing club. You may be aware that we run Green Lane Masjid Football Club. Uh, we have a number of teams entered into FA approved leagues. So the sort of stuff I work on is everything from building partnerships with Muslim organizations and non-Muslim organizations, just meeting with them, giving them tours of the mosque and greater awareness of, of Muslims and the community. But it's from that work that a lot of opportunities come through as well. So for example, you know, working with Edge Baston, now we do Eden Edgebaston Stadium. You know, it's never been done before. Also speaking to them, they've now created a bigger prayer space uh, for Muslims. They've also created a wood area after we suggested it to them. So, you know, this, this engagement uh, creates a lot of opportunities and helps people understand what Muslims are all about and what their needs are. Alhamdulillah, the last three months have been amazing for Green Lane Masjid. We started off by purchasing a second plot of land, which is adjacent to the Masjid, and this will form part of our expansion project. During Ramadan and Dhul Hijjah, we launched an automated donation system, which has brought in just under £100,000 for the Masjid, Alhamdulillah. We have also been collecting zakat payments locally, and we have collected over £100,000 to be distributed to needy people here in the UK. Our task force department, which focuses on raising funds for humanitarian projects abroad, has raised over one million pounds in the last three months. We have had two international deployments, one distributing iftar parcels in Lebanon and the other distributing emergency aid in Afghanistan. So far, since the crisis started in Afghanistan, we have raised over half a million pounds. We also launched the Qurbani project this year and we managed to facilitate Qurbani for over 800 people, helping many thousands of Muslims across the world. There was an earthquake which occurred in Afghanistan and floods which occurred in Bangladesh. We launched emergency appeals for both and Alhamdulillah have raised over £50,000. And finally, our marketing department, Alhamdulillah, have been working on a brand new website which we hope to launch within the next few months. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Alhamdulillah, over the past few months, 
we managed to deliver some aqidah courses and some some fiqh courses as well uh, particularly with regards to the aqidah we delivered the course called the common misconceptions in aqidah and for the fiqh we delivered fiqh of purification fiqh of prayer and fiqh of business transactions and we also alhamdulillah concluded this academic year with arabic course exams and tajweed course exams as well alhamdulillah and now we are planning to continue with summer intensive courses inshallah followed by new academic year starting in september inshallah Aziz. Thank you.